two links down below in the description box, one to the Canadian store, one to the American store of Amazon for the same product. The only difference being if you're in Canada, you'll get a three pack for $22 like I did. Whereas if you're in the good old US of A, you're only getting a two pack for 20 bucks. Okay. One of the biggest things I enjoy about this product is the fact that it is 26 millimeters wide, whereas most Apple bands are 24 millimeters. Unless you get the Alpine loop on the Ultra, for example, that will be 26 millimeters. Naturally, it'll be 22 millimeters, I believe, on the smaller Apple. I don't know why I'm doing this on the smaller Apple watches, like the smallest ones that you can get. They're 22 just to kind of give you some perspective, because a lot of people know what I'm saying. They talk about the length. How long is it? How about how girthy it is? OK, now to give you a little bit of perspective here, that was really cringy. And that's why my videos only get about 20 views each. So I told you that this is 24 millimeters. This is the real ocean band. And this is a, a 26 millimeter band. Now my camera's reverse, so when I go right, it goes left in, in the camera. So it kind of screws me up. But that just kind of gives you color perspective a little bit and width perspective. Let me grab another band to give you another comparison uh, again. And as well for the length, they're just a smidgen longer from the base you see that okay so when you look at them it's not like night and day but there there is a difference now in terms of how uh rigid it is okay these are the real ocean band they are a little bit more you know what i'm saying malleable if you will these ones here are a little bit more rigid. Is that good? Is that bad? It's preference. Not everybody wants a limp noodle. Now, completely off topic. Well, not really, but my Garmin here has a fleshy leaf third party knockoff band that's also 26 millimeters wide. And this one is the flimsiest band I've ever had. And just the touch, the texture when you rub it. Because who the hell wears a watch and starts rubbing it like it's a magic blue circle from one of those Inquire magazines where apparently good luck will come to you. But if you do do that and you rub your band and you rub the ocean band, it's got like a texture to it. There's just something about it. And it could be psychosomatic. Mm, $150 with taxes and Canadian dollars. Oh, I can feel it. It's so good. Then you start rubbing this one. You're like, what's this hard ass $2 fucking dollar store plastic shit? But it doesn't feel like that. It just feels really hard. Like if you try and pinch it, it's definitely more rigid than these tubes for obvious reasons. Because you can pinch the tube, right? There's, there's no tubes here, right? But just overall, it is more rigid. Now, another thing that's worth mentioning, very important thing, is just like the average apple band i say average because there's so many different kinds of bands for apple from apple but the traditional one with the pin in the hole right back to cringy things again here the pin in the hole now the the pin is not a circle like on an apple watch it is oval and when you first put the watch on okay and you push that pin in it feels good. It feels like there's a, a decent amount of force that is required to unhinge the strap. More force required than an authentic Apple band that's just got the little wee, you know, nub. Okay. However, because of its extra rigidness, when you go and you stick that in to the hole here, to pass it underneath like the traditional watch, but I'm just going to start doing it. You see that? It's very rigid. Well, you risk a chance of popping the pin. Some people have complained that their pins pop out trying to put the band in. I've done this about five or six times. I haven't popped my pin yet. And then once you get it in there and you just kind of push it in, 
right? See, it doubles up underneath there. It's, it's like I said, it's like the standard Apple Watch where you don't get that flap. Whereas with the Ocean Band, you've got the adjustable uh, titanium piece here. But ultimately, in the end, you're, you're always le left lift. You're always left with a bit of a lip, right? That's the one thing I don't like about the Ocean Bands. It's what I don't like about a traditional watch like this when you stick it in, even with the double thing here and you can slide it. There's always going to be a little wee bit of a lip. There's no lip, and my arm's getting tired of keeping raising it because of all the dumbbell curls and the push-ups I've done today. It's starting to really kill me. So that's basically what I wanted to talk to you today about. So my negative, if anything, like I said, is that it's rigid putting it in, but it's not to the point where it's incredibly, insanely difficult. But again, when you stick that piece in that's going to go underneath, you got to arc it stick it in there and there's a slight risk that yours might unpin itself like i said one person reported that but the ratings whether canada or u.s is like a good 4.4 4 out of five a good 4.3 out of five out of 800 re reviews so okay there you have it i don't really know what else to say, to be honest with you? I compare these a little bit more to the 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 Garmin in the sense of like, you know, the if you're familiar with Garmin, how they have like their little you can barely even see it see it. They're they're ridged, they're ribbed, right? Like they're ribbed. They're, this one's more ribbed. You can see the ribs in it. Just a little bit obviously not as much as an ocean band. But I'm just saying from a style perspective. Plus, width perspective, they're, they're a lot more on par uh, to that than the Ocean Band. Because this is a completely different kind of band. Even if I could get a 26mm wide one, which I wish Apple would do. Because overall, I find it fits the watch better. That should be my thumbnail right there. Creepy watch. Um, I just find it's more natural. The 24mm, just that little bit less width. I find it's almost too skinny, but it does feel good. But overall, in terms of the feel, I'm not going to lie. They both feel the same, really. It's not like I'm wearing one. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, there's that $130 before taxes Apple band. And oh, here's that $7 shit thing. No, it's I can't I can't tell the, the, the difference in terms of that. They're both, like I said, very different feel but a good feel, which is why I wanted to review it because I have a bunch of other bands that I have purchased before and I don't really talk about them because there's really not much to talk about. They're just a simple band. They do the job. There's nothing spectacular about them. But for me, these were a steal of a deal for the price. The typical black, the white, the orange, like you can mix your colors naturally if you're in Canada. If you are in the U.S., though, unfortunately, you're only going to be able to pick between like uh, black and orange or maybe black and white. There's no white and orange as far as I know. There's a white and red. Uh, but you could pick, you know, a two-pack. You can buy them individually. You could just go to their store, to be honest. You could just visit the suit at best store and uh, see what they have. Maybe their stock will change. No, I didn't have a stroke. Uh, they have a nice bag that it came with and it's got like some contact information in the back. I wouldn't be surprised if you could maybe email them and be like, look, I really want a three pack. Are you able to work something out for me, please? Because in Canada, they're able to uh, to have it. Why can't we? You're literally the same company. Okay. So there you have it. I actually do, so far, recommend this product. I'll do a follow-up in a couple of months if I notice anything weird, like one of the pins just falling out. But given how much pull and give I have to give the band to unlatch it just to come out of the hole uh, in the unlikely event that it even got unpinned, I would be very, very surprised of this just randomly falling off out of nowhere. I just don't see it happening. I don't. Maybe a useless video, but I thought sharing was caring. There are so many different products, so many similar products, so many, yeah, just different 
brands making the same stuff and they're not all created equally. Like I said, I have about six different Garmin Phoenix bands and this from Fleshy Leaf right here. I just wanted to show it to you because I'm here. See, there's kind of like the ribbing I was telling you about. They have a store, okay? This is the Canadian one, but I, I think they have one in the States too. Uh, to me, this is one of the best I've ever had. But again, that clasp is starting to fade like big time, but I don't care about that. And the actual clips in the back of the watch, this is kind of like an off review of another product here. When you go to pull on this to, to pull out the band, uh, because these are quick release, it doesn't feel nearly as good as an authentic Garmin band. Even the touch overall is a little bit better on the Garmin, but this is the closest I've ever come. And again, for a fraction of the price, for a fraction, <laughs> sorry. You'd think I was Joey from Friends, minus all the hair and all that kind of stuff. Um, anyways, that's enough of that. I think that means that it's time to go. Yeah. All right, then. So if you uh, liked the video, by the way, I, mean, I ruined it at the end there, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm and making me a little bit more relevant in the search results when people are looking things up on the Internet. And if you didn't like the video, well, that's just too bad for me, isn't it? Go ahead, give it a thumbs down. We'll bend it in half, twist it, break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Again, in closing, I want to reiterate. Is that the word? Because I'm French. Most Apple Watch bands are 24 millimeters wide. These ones that I showed you today are 26 millimeters wide. That is how big the big Garmin Phoenix bands are. So it makes it just as wide as these. Uh, the Alpine Loop from Apple, if I'm not mistaken, again, is the only authentic Apple band that is 26 millimeters wide, like the Garmin, like the suited best brand band is. So it's rare for people, like I said, that want a little bit more girth. You know what I'm saying? All right. Adios. Until next time, bye for now.